Hello, dear friends. It's uh, Wednesday, November 18th. Uh, and today, what's very much on my mind is uh, a special presentation, which uh, President Jeff Greenman of Regent College, who, of course, is a member of St. John's Vancouver, uh, will be uh, making a presentation featuring a number of individuals who'll, who give tributes to our dear friend, the Reverend Canon Dr. J.I. Packer, Jim Packer. And among those who will be giving uh, tributes will be uh, Canon David Short, Rector of St. John's Vancouver, and also Bronwyn Short. And I'll be giving a brief word as well. <clears throat> now, it may be that you are able to be on uh, that live, which is happening at uh, 12 noon Pacific, which is uh, one in the afternoon in Calgary and two in the afternoon in Brandon, and three in the afternoon in the Eastern t uh, uh, time zone, and four in the afternoon if you're in New Brunswick, and 4.30 in the afternoon if you are in uh, Newfoundland. <clears throat> anyway, and it may well be that it's not convenient for you to be on live, but it will be posted, uh, and uh, I, I do uh, encourage you to, to do that, because the scriptures, it's interesting what it says about... Uh, uh, those who have gone before and our leaders. It says, remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Well, uh, for the remainder of the, of the couple of minutes we've got, I'm going to do something a little different um, last Sunday was Stir Up Sunday, you know, the colic, stir up the wills of your faithful people, O God. And this coming Sunday is Christ the King Sunday, which is the last Sunday of the church year before the following week will be the beginning of Advent. Uh, and, um, but, you know, thinking about the fact that Jesus wonderfully is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, I'm just going to use some prayers, all of which come from from our BCP 2019. Uh, first, the collect for last week. Stir up, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people, that bringing forth in abundance the fruit of good works, they may abundantly re be rewarded when our Savior Jesus Christ comes to restore all things, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I've been thinking in terms of the Lordship of Christ, a number of these uh, uh, saw, uh, in the occasional prayers, uh, starting in uh, for Christ to be formed in us. Lord Jesus, Master Cap Carpenter of Nazareth, on the cross through wooden nails, you wrought <clears throat> our full salvation. Wield well your tools in this your workshop that we who come to you rough-hewn may be fashioned into a truer beauty by your hand, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God, world without end. Amen. That we might know and love God. O oh God, the light of the minds that know you, the life of the souls that love you, and the strength of the wills that serve you. Help us so to know you that we may truly love you, and so to love you, that we may fully serve you, whom to serve is perfect freedom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer of self-dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you. So guide our minds. So fill our imaginations. So control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And finally, for desiring God. O oh God, grant that we may desire you, and desiring you, seek you, and seeking you, find you, and finding you, be satisfied in you forever. Amen. Isn't it wonderful that Jesus is Lord? Well, thinking of his lordship and of the fact that he has come for all and died on a cross for all so that all might come to him by repentance and faith. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Dear friends, Jesus is Lord. He's Savior for all. He's the only way to salvation. There's no other name under heaven given among men by which we might be saved. So as we pray and as we rededicate ourselves to Jesus as Lord, let us also open our mouths and speak to people about Jesus because they need him too. God bless you this day, this week.